Okay, Appliance Boot Camp, this is Mike Sneed coming to you again. Today is going to be something a little bit different than what I normally do. Um, you know we have the Rockin' on Rayford that we got going on. And um, this time coming up in June, um, I'm responsible for the band. And we're going to be doing it in conjunction with Juneteenth. And so what, I've, uh, what I'm doing, I'm just going around to the local community and just telling them about everything Selma has to offer for them to come downtown. And a lot of times when I'm talking to the people, they're, uh, they're still stuck uh, 50, 60 years the way Selma used to be. And they always asking me uh, uh, how, they, how they treating you downtown. They don't want any, uh, they don't want any African Americans having businesses downtown. Uh, you know, or they don't want any minorities having businesses downtown. So uh, uh, what I was telling them, I said, that's not true. It's changed that the businesses uh, uh, we have a large, hey, how y'all doing? All right, we have a large population of African American and minority owned businesses here. So I'm just gonna take a quick walk just, just on this one block <laughs> uh, where it is considered to be downtown Selma. And uh, we're gonna take a quick look and see if we can find how many uh, minority uh, African American owned businesses. Okay, right here we have Downtown Nutrition uh, Healthy Club. This is a uh, Hispanic owned business. They do very well. All right, we're gonna walk to the next block. So that's one that we have. Uh, right here, this is a uh, Walker Auto. Uh, that's not minority owned. So we'll give them one. So it's the score right now, one to one. Right here, we have these two businesses. Uh, we have uh, Sailor's Hair Beauty Salon, and we got uh, Sergio business. Sergio is actually moving from there, uh, right next door to me. But that's two uh, Hispanic owned. So right now, it's uh, three to one, three to one. Okay, we come in here. Right here, this is a home interior and more consignment store. Uh, that's African American owned. A young lady owns that African American. So that's uh, uh, what we're at now. We're at four to one. Uh, right here, Latino Beauty Salon. That's a, uh, like a Dominican hair salon. So now we have four to one. We got Jeff and Zena's uh, Coffee on Rayford. That's not minority owned. So now we're four to, four to two. And we got the Selma Shoe Store, which is not minority owned. So now we're 43. Here we got uh, yours truly, Mike Sneed, uh, uh, old fashioned ice cream, and Appliance Boot Camp. They're African American owned. Uh, so now we're at 63. Uh, Church of Love and Deliverance, African American, <laughs> uh, 7 to 3. Uh, Reed's Cup Country Sampler, that's not. So now we're 7 to 4. And they they have this pretty much this whole section right here. So it's right now we're seven to four. All right, uh, we got Selma Flores right here. Selma Flores, uh, that's not so that's seven to five. We got hometown realtor right here. Uh, that's not so that's seven to six. Right here, we got Selma's Jewelry, it's not. So now we're at seven to seven. Sorry about that. Right here, we have Lennox Defense, tactical sewing gear. Uh, this is African-American on, uh, so that's eight to six. He make all this stuff for the military. They got a sewing company. Now we're at eight to six. 
on beat ministry uh that's not so that's uh uh that will go eight to seven that's a uh, uh minister todd he teaches the youth how to start uh take drum lessons so right now we're eight to seven right here we got dr. Kayla she's a chiropractor so they give us uh, 8 to 8 uh, right here this is african-american owned and she owns her building too and uh, she does upholstery so that's 9 to 8 right here this is Gigi's she just opened this weekend so that make us nine to uh nine nine to nine I think nine to nine we're at and major stuff like the banks and stuff like that we can count that but I'm not that's, that's uh I'm not counting those right now so we got one bank. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and count it. We'll give them credit for the bank. So that give them 10 to 9. 10 non African American Hispanic business. Uh, and nine African American Hispanic businesses. So 10 to 9 right now. They're up one. Here we have uh, we have uh, another I don't know what his store is called, but uh, Treasury Antiques, uh, which is not so that's 11 to 9. And right here, the Vix building, we'll call that Adventure. We're giving them that's not so we get them 12 to 9. 12 to 9. Uh, here are my two buildings I have right here. There's no businesses in them now, but uh, hopefully we have someone coming in. So I think they count 12 to nine. 12 to nine. Right here, we have the beer. Uh, it's, a, it's a bar. So that gives, uh, it's not, so that gives 13 to nine. Right here is Strickland Auto uh, Art, uh, and I know he wants. To, he, he told me he's a minority, so I'm gonna count him as a, as a minority, also. So uh, that's gonna be uh, a minority check for us. That's gonna be uh, 12 to 10. 12 to 10. Right here, this building just got purchased this weekend. Um, it's gonna be uh, a hanky panky coming in. So they are, that that was a non-Hispanic, uh, non, uh, uh, what we'll say, non uh, 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 African American or uh, minority. So, uh, so they're thirteen to ten. Thirteen to ten. I, I got the count all messed up. This is a Hispanic building, so I will get a tick for that. That give us thirteen to eleven. Thirteen to eleven. And if I got the count all messed up, I correct it in the uh, in the uh, on screen. 13 to 11. This is D Seafood. African American man owns it. Uh, so we'll go 13, 12. Matter of record, non African American own it. Uh, so uh, that'd be 14, 12. Across the street there, that white building. Uh, we got a barbershop and a beauty salon, African American owned. So that'll give us 13 to 13. And I'm gonna count Pizza Express. And we'll count Pizza Express right here. If I was to go over into there, there's non, nothing but Hispanic businesses over in there. So uh, I'm not gonna go there. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna count Pizza, Pizza Express, what I can see right here in the downtown. So there is gonna be, um, we up 1413, I think, 1413. People's Barbershop, uh, non, non, uh, non, 
minority so uh now we're back uh 1414 Heidi Moore 1414 she's a CPA not not his uh non uh minority track side non his uh non minority uh 1514 I'm gonna keep up with the count from 1514 I think I'm just about there 1514 is what I'm gonna I'm count at right now 1514 and that's for people who say they don't want minority businesses downtown 1514 is currently the count and I'm just walking around our little block and this this is what people are telling and they believe from 40 50 years ago but it's changed 1514 Right here, we have a uh, barber salon, barber shop, a uh, Bucks, uh, 15, uh, 1515. That's some uh, African American. So we're 1515. I think in home aid service, I think that's non minority. So that could be 16, uh, 16 for them, 15 for the minorities. As you can see, it's about even. It's about even. 1615. But that's just the impression people have had and haven't been down here to actually see how things have changed. Sixteen fifteen. Uh surf and turf is non uh minority. So seventeen. 1715 and we got Nick's and L.I. Barbershop African American 15 uh, so that give us uh, 1516 we got Country Boy non uh, non minority 1715 and In Town Fleurs 1815 so it's about even 1815 is about what it is and that's what i want to show you that that's just the impression that people are saying but right downtown it's about even it's about even but unfortunately only uh only really one minority business owner where two now sergio come only uh, but two really minority owned business owners uh come and do any participation in any of the functions or any of the planning that goes on in the town they don't come to none of the meetings anything all, all of them saying the same thing they don't uh i don't feel included i don't feel like uh uh it's, it's, they're, they're taking what i want in consideration well the reason why because you don't come <laughs> and because everybody's saying the same thing and nobody get we never shows up and uh and I, we never show up in, in our numbers. So if I was, if, if I'm the only person there uh, that's a minority, yeah, I say, oh, there's no diversity down. There's no diversity downtown. There's number of white-owned businesses. They don't want me here uh, because I've, I've, I don't, I'm not looking at. Uh, I'm not taking into consideration that everybody was to come to all the meetings and to all the planning. It's about equal. You have more people and you have all the diversity that you need. So the reason I'm saying this right here, I'm reaching out to all the local business owners. If you're downtown, come to our meetings. We have an Activate Selma meeting that we meet every Wednesday at 9 p.m. from 9 to 10. If you're a business owner, I, I hear this all the time. Uh, I'm working. I ain't got time to, uh, to come to the meetings. If you're a business owner and uh, you ain't got time to take 45 minutes away from your business, to, to plan and to strategize, you need to close your door. You ain't no business owner. It's time for you to close your doors anyway. Or pretty soon they're going to be closed because you're not taking the time out to plan and strategize. You got to have that time to sit down and plan your businesses and to actually plan what you're going to be doing going forward because what's going to happen, we're planning to do stuff to bring people into the, uh, the town to grow the town. And if you're not part of it, you're not gonna, uh, if you're not part of it, specific stuff that your business needs, 
it's not going to get addressed because you want in there to put it in the, uh, in the in the recipe when we're putting it together. So all the local businesses, please show up and come out to the uh, to the local meeting, activate Selma. If you want to uh, reach out to me, you can uh, you can get me uh, in the description below. Uh, I have an email and a contact information. Just reach out to me, and I'll be more than glad to talk to you more about it. Once again, thank you for watching.